Campbell Hatton, your fourth fight of 2023, another, another level ticked off along the way. How would you rate your performance after that? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I uh, did everything I wanted, uh, I wanted to do in it. We, even though it was my third eight rounder, it's the first time I've gone, I think out of my eight rounders, I've never gone past five. So I think that was exactly what I needed because it weren't just eight rounds, it was eight tough rounds. He's, he's been in there doing 10 rounders like, multiple times. And uh, like, very tough, durable, and very strong. So a lot different to uh, some of my other opponents who've been a bit more negative. He came, he wanted to win. And I wanted to show a little bit more boxing than I have in the past. And I think I did that. We were just chatting on the way to the media room. I think one of the biggest compliments of that performance is that you just look so comfortable at a, a new level. Is that how it felt in there for you as well? Yeah, I think I'm getting you Because I had a habit early on where... I was that eager where I think I started at one pace and then just went up and up and up and then eventually probably tired a bit, whereas I think in this one, I was going up and down the gears, I'd put it on him a bit, I'd get him hurt and then I'd spot that he's not quite ready yet or that when I'd hurt him, he'd recovered. So then I brought it back down and got back to my boxing and I think when you're going on to the championship um, level rounds, like your 10 and 12 rounders, you can't just start at a pace and go on and on. You've got to go up and down the gears and, and pace fights and uh, I'm just getting used to that, just more experienced all around. Is that what you think it's down to experience or is that stuff you're working on in the gym with your uncle Matthew as well? Both, I think uh, I th things are going perfectly in the gym. We're getting better all the time and we're noticing massive jumps in improvements every time, every time I come back to the gym from a fight. So I think it's a combination of the two. If this is like we said, my fourth fight of this year, so I couldn't be, able, couldn't be much busier. I think, like you say, it's the combination of just constantly being in the gym, working on things with Matt, and constantly getting them rounds in under the lights. As you said, eight rounds banked for the first time as a professional. How's the body feeling now in, in the immediate aftermath of that? Yeah, sore, but um, uh, good as gold, I think. I feel exactly how you meant to after, like, that was a proper fight. That, that, that I think I've done my learning fights now. He's been in there at title level and, like we said, I was comfortable, so I think it shows I'm around about that level now and it's just a case of getting more and more experience over them longer fights. Do you feel like you have matured this year? Because it does seem like that way when, in your performances. Massively, massively. I'm taking my time and picking my shots and I'm showing a lot of variation. I caught him with a few good uppercuts, which I'd not really shown. Like, I'd not really done that in, in my fights. I was getting a little bit left hook happy and uh, I think I've shown more variety, more patience more thoughtfulness and just everything. We're just ticking every box as we go on. Maybe Matthew's better to, the better man to ask this question, but it does seem like you're on a great trajectory at the moment. Is, is a title or something at the end of the year something you've got, you got your eyes on? Definitely. Like I say, my last few opponents have all been around title level. It's just I've not done them rounds yet. I think there's no rush. I'm only 22, but I think once I've got, got used to doing them longer rounds, like I have tonight, I think we'll notice a big difference. Uh, in my engine, even though I've always been fit, this gym fit and under the lights fit, isn't they? So now I've, I've got that done, I think, with that step closer to title level because I'm beating people comfortably who are around there. Matthew, if you just want to jump in and, and join Campbell, um, we've, we've just been speaking about the maturity that he's been showing. How pleased are you to, to think about where Campbell started his career to, to what you're seeing now? Still only 22 years old as well. Yes, yeah, still only 22, and, and when we look at him in the early stages to what we saw tonight, Campbell shown previously he can fight. We all know he can fight. We wanted him to show his boxing tonight, and I think in patches he boxed really, really well. And as a fighter coming up, I've been there myself. This is what you need, these good, solid eight-rounders against good level opposition. You know, he's boxed an English title eliminator uh, in a good fight, scored a knockdown in that fight. As the rounds went on, it got strong and physical. So from my point of view... Just what we wanted for Campbell, you know, good eight rounds in the bank, a really good learning fight for Campbell. So, yes, yeah, please. The hand name can definitely weigh heavy on someone, but it does seem that Campbell is really dedicated to, to, the, to the craft. He's always in the gym. That must also please you as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, me and Campbell have a great relationship. I had Campbell has got a great work ethic. Mm -hmm. He really wants it. He's a good fighter. He's an improving fighter. He's putting the work in. <laughs> His family, of course, I wish I had a gym full like Campbell. Great work ethic is what he's seen. It's been a hectic year for you both. How have you found the balance between the activity and not burning Campbell out? 
yeah, you know, comes with experience and have been in boxing a long time. And I think Matchroom have, have handled him really, really well. He's been really busy this year. Um, of course, that's something we have to consider. Compliments to the matchmaker as well, because that was a really, really good match for Campbell. Just what we wanted, really. Campbell said that he he would be keen to get a title before the end of the year. Is that something that you want as well? I think, like you say, the the lad who he boxed tonight and Campbell's bought, boxed a few opponents previously, who's been fighting that area title around English title uh, level. So again, you know, get Campbell out again, get another good solid eight rounder, eight rounder under his belt, and we'll take it from there. But I don't see any reason why not. You know, get another good eight rounder in, and maybe possibly, depending on how he does in his next fight possibly look at a title fight maybe just before Christmas. Campbell, I'll give the final word to you. 3-0 for Manchester City yesterday. A win for you. Is that the perfect weekend? We don't get much better than that really, do we? Um, just got to get the quadruple done this year. It's the only way we're going to top it. <laughs> Cheers, Pope. Thank you very much. <laughs>